Hey gang, uh, Josh here with Mentor Public Library, bringing you another episode of Art Apocalypse, our weekly arts and crafts video series. Here to show you something cool, so let's get started. All right, gang, today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a cute, simple Christmas ornament. Um, just using a paper towel tube or a toilet paper tube. All you'll need for this is the aforementioned tube, uh, some scissors, uh, paint probably would be a good idea unless you like the color of these. Um, this one I painted uh, gray on the outside, white on the inside. You can use glitter, you can use whatever colors you want. I just kept it a little simple. And then you'll just need glue. I have a hot glue gun. If you're using it, uh, get adults. If you're a kid watching, these are hot. They're not to be messed with. My fingerprints are half burned off from using hot glue guns, so be safe. Or just use regular Elmer's glue. You'll just have to pinch it together and hold it till it's dry, which will take longer, but so be it. So to get started, you'll just cut about a half inch strip off your tube and you'll want to cut, if you're going to replicate this one, you'll want to cut a total of 12. Well, goodbye. Okay, so that's 12, counting the one I dropped on the floor. 12. Okay, so take six of them, and they're mostly already kind of folded in half, but you can crimp the edges so that they have a little oval shape instead of a circle shape. And this might be a good point. If you didn't paint it already, this would probably be where you want to paint it. So painting the inside's easier once they're cut instead of trying to paint the whole tube while it's a tube. So, Get your glue, and then just put a little dab on one end. Oh boy. And take another end and just kind of snuggle it right up against there. It's a good word for winter, snuggle, you know, blankets, warmth, snowflakes. Naps. Naps, yeah. Naps are good. Naps are good year-round, though, so... It's true. Yeah. I'm not gonna seclude that to one season. That's insane. I'll nap whenever I want. Nope. Oh boy, that sound is wonderful. Mm, okay. Stop there, but let's just keep going. It'll be cuter if it's hexagonal instead of pentagonal. Is pentagonal a word? Pentagonal? I like pentagonal. Pentagonal. <laughs> like the military arrested me was pentagonal. Pent <laughs> I can't even say the word. Uh, Let's say it's not done. It's probably not. I was an English major, I should know. But I don't think being an English major means you know every word in existence. No, it just means you're equipped to teach English. It's basically a pyramid screen. <laughs> Okay, so once you have the base, <laughs> take the other ones that you have left over, pinch those on the ends, and then just fold them in half. Like so. And you can either put them here, you can put them in here, and then extend outward. If you have leftover tube, you can cut more and just do a bunch of random different kinds of patterns on here. The sky is the limit in terms of your imagination, both in general and in terms of uh, this craft in specific. So do whatever you want, guys. This craft is totally yours. It's going to be a completely unique ornament for your tree that your family will treasure forever or for as long as this lasts because it's held together with prayer and hot glue. So do whatever you want. And your family will love it and you'll love it too. <laughs> oh, whew. Be safe out there, kid. Yeah, blister season. Whew. Hot glue is no joke. Hot things are hot, so be careful. <laughs> oh, my. Or get like a low temperature hot glue gun. It'll still hurt, but probably not as much as that just did. 
Okay. And last but not least there. And like I said, you can fill in these spaces. You can extend out this way or whatever you want to do. And then once you're done, just take a piece of yarn or string and tie it on one of these outside loops and you can hang it from your tree and you have a pretty Christmas ornament.